Well, hello there, animation fans. It's Nara and Drew here with the Disney Rabbit Hole. And today we are at Disney's Art of Animation Resort at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. We are gonna take a full tour of the Art of Animation Resort, starting with the guest services area and everything that's in that area. We're gonna go into the arcade. We're gonna go into the gift shop, yep. the food area, yes. guest room areas, yep. and then we'll uh, top off this Sunday, the cherry that is our own room tour. Well, you think we should get started? Yeah. All right, let's get to it. My favorite place to start is right at the beginning. So let's start here. Back behind me, this is the bus area where you're gonna catch buses to the different theme parks. Ooh. And this is right outside Animation Hall, which is the main inside building portion of the resort. So let's head this away and we'll take a look at guest check-in. It's also where the arcade is gonna be in the food court and the gift shop. What are you most excited about, Nara? Uh, the gift shop. Why, are you, why do you get super excited about the gift shop? Because everything's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of sparkles, a lot of tiny things, miniatures, and I'm always looking for Jiminy. Ah, Jiminy Cricket, your favorite character. Jiminy, he's, and he's very rare to find. Yeah, it is tough to find uh, Jiminy merch. They have forgotten about There's him. not very much. So right over here is Bell Services. They call it luggage assistance. Mm. Um, if you order food or really anything else, you can order stuff from Amazon, Prime, Whole Foods. It's gonna get delivered here. It's where you come pick it up. Let's head in. Come with me. <laughs> so the theming of this resort, uh, probably kind of obvious. It's the art of animation resort, so it celebrates Disney animation in all of its forms uh, here against this wall. This is kind of cool. This is like all concept uh, art sketches for different Disney films, Lion King, Cars, Little Mermaid. <laughs> I like it in here because it's very gay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the check-in area and over this way, uh, like all of the Disney resorts, there's a little area for the kiddos to have a seat watch some cartoons. I like it because they show the Mickey shorts. <laughs> Love the Mickey shorts. Uh, but this is nice because when the bigs are over here doing check-in, the littles can hang out over here and uh, everybody has something to do during the sometimes lengthy process of check-in. Though I would recommend using the My Disney Experience app for sure because you can skip check-in entirely and go directly to your room. But I will say that it is kind of nice to interact with the cast members at check-in because they are always super helpful, super friendly. Oh my goodness. And the layout of this resort is really similar to the rest of the all-star resorts and Pop Century. Uh, it's slightly different in that the ink and paint shop, which is the gift shop. Uh, you walk through that to get to the food court area. And we'll do that in a minute. But first, let's go check out the arcade. <gasps> so every resort has an arcade. I mean, I think every resort. Every resort that I've been to. And the arcades here are good. This is the Pixel Play Arcade here at Art of Animation. You got a favorite arcade game, Nara? Skee-ball. Yeah, skee-ball is my favorite too. Yeah, and then air hockey. Air hockey's fun. Also pinball. 
Pinball's good. Do they have pinball here? They do. They we just passed them. Oh. They're at the beginning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I played a lot of Down the Clown in my day. Got two different photo booth options. There's like a fancy Marvel one that'll make a comic book cover for you. And then just kind of standard photo booth here. They got some different games for the littles. Some more interesting games for the bigger kids. Ski ball, pop a shot, air hockey. <laughs> and a typhoon. This game's hilarious. Oh, and it's error screened at the moment. There's an exception, <laughs> an unknown exception, a software exception. Not today, it said. <laughs> Oddly, the arcades are one of the few places on Disney property that you can't use your Magic Band. They don't work in here. It's a different system. And the way that it works is you come to the recharge station. You can pay with a card or you can pay with cash. Put in your card, put in your cash. Select how much you want to be on the card. Say, give me a new card, and it pops a card out. You use the card to slide it in the games. The, the nice thing about the arcades on property is that they're not a ripoff. Like, you can load a card up with $20, $25, and play in the arcade for, like, a couple hours at least. Um, I mean, I guess it depends on the game, but it is nice that it's not really designed to, like, take all your money as fast as possible like some arcades. Uh, another thing to note is that uh, some of the kiddos might be surprised by the fact that there is no redemption center. So there's no tickets on any of the machines or games and there's no counter where you can go get prizes at the end. It's all about the gameplay. <laughs> Ink and paint shop? Come on! So the gift shop here, like I was saying, is what you walk through to get to the food court. So it's not like a separate area. It's sort of the foyer of the food area. <laughs> but let's take a tour. A foyer of gifts. So here's some of the 50th anniversary merch. Which is going away soon. Yeah, not to be confused with the 100th anniversary merch, which has just come out. So it's the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Well, it was the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Uh, and upcoming is, I think, 2023. Yeah, because 1923 was the first year of the Walt Disney Company. So it's the 100th year of the Walt Disney Company. Let's get some hats and ears. I think these soaps are adorable because they have like a little Mickey on the top. And when you oh. pump it, it like pumps a little Mickey shape out into does your it? Yeah, it does. <gasps> yeah. Shut up. So here's some of the 2023 merch, and I actually, I really like the, the design of the 2023 merch. I think this is a really cute color palette. Muted oranges and blues. Very retro. Yeah. I have one of these at home, one of these mugs. Oh, can we see the pillow, the hundred? Yeah, let's look at some of the hundredth merch. This one over here. Oh. Sparkles, <gasps> sparkles. Oh, say it again. Sparkles. <laughs> On the other side. We got Tink. Yeah. Like the threading on this is just really pretty. That's yeah, shimmery. It is so pretty. I love it so much. Oh, look at you so putting it back. The gift shop here is it's pretty standard for uh, this level of resort. Um, you know, I think that Art of Animation is, I think it's one step above, is it a moderate resort? Ah, I can't remember, but I don't think that this is in the category of the most affordable resorts, but <laughs> not positive. You can insert that in post. If you know, leave me a comment. <laughs> um, but the offerings are fairly standard. You've got an assortment of Magic Bands and Magic Band Plus. You have lots of pens and a lot of apparel. We've also got plushes. Daisy Duck. Hello, Daisy. Oh, Goof. We, um, Des said to say hi yeah. to Daisy. Hi, Daisy. From Des. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do a fan? 
You want to open a fan? Oh, okay. Might be the other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite souvenirs to buy is coffee mugs because I drink coffee every day and I get to remember my vacation. My only problem with Disney mugs is that they're like enormous. <laughs> and I know some people drink like gallons of coffee at a time, but I am not one of those people. Like, I mean. You can drink other things out of coffee mugs. No, it's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Come on. That's a jug. A, a coffee jug. A jug of coffee. I a do like this one. Jug of Joe. I think this is cute. This I is get. like a tumbler, almost. And they do have more reasonable sized ones. I mean, here, this is like a, this is a human being size <laughs> coffee mug. Got some cute kitchen stuff here. Home goods. And these notebooks are super cute. Yeah. I love this Sleeping Beauty one that looks like the book from the beginning of Sleeping Beauty. And it's just notebook. Oh, although I didn't see the beginning. Oh! You're going to do that again. Oh! <laughs> oh, did you see that picture up there? Oh, it's Simba and Nara. Uh, Nala. Nala, not me. <laughs> Ah, uh, the wee clothes. The adorable wee clothes. Really this little pet section here, too. Some cat toys and some collars and stuff. Fun. <laughs> Let's look at the lounge flies. So this is like kind of a new-ish thing, like a product. It's only been around for, well, it's probably been around longer than a few years, but I feel like it's gotten really popular in the last few years. I love this sherbety swirl pattern and this is like a tiny sampling of the selection of lounge flies that are available there are a ton of these things so if you go to like world of disney at disney springs ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> What about Disney Springs? World of Disney at Disney Springs probably has the largest selection of lounge fly bags. Dozens. 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 Elevendies. Quadrabillions. Oh, look, a belt. <gasps> Wait a minute. I mean, Nara always needs a belt. And let's peek at the other side. Um, some food items, some candy. I think these ears are super cute. This is like a, I mean, I think this is art of animation. Yeah. Yeah. It's Disney's art of animation specific. So this is like the merch that's for this resort. Mm -hmm. These are great. They're color changer. They turn pink in the sun. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Catch donuts, <laughs> in case you forgot to pack donuts. Chippies? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and an assortment lollies? of candies and things. And just like all the resorts, there's this uh, little pharmacy shelf. Got stuff like diapers and baby food, things like uh, sunscreen, and you might, you might just find yourself wanting some earplugs. The rooms, not the quietest rooms I've ever stayed in. We'll talk more about that later. Stick around to the end of the video because we're going to do a full tour, full walkthrough of one of the guest rooms. I see Groot. <laughs> There's the Mickey hands. There's the what? The Mickey hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cute. Lots of plushes and toys. Do you want a shot of all that, like closer? Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, 
I think the new emos are pretty cute. <gasps> there's outfits. Yeah, oh my goodness. Yes, there's outfits. You can be a DJ, Herbert. Or, look. Oh, a little pride backpack. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, it's Nara. <laughs> Nala. <laughs> oh, look at Eeyore. Oh, so cute. Oh, I'm not even looking at him. <laughs> oh, look at this Mickey. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my God. He's uh, he's weighted. He's like a, an anxiety Mickey. Oh. You put him on your chest or something, mm -hmm. I guess. And he's soft. Oh. Yeah, the colors are great. I yeah. love that blue. It's so cute. Oh, this is a weighted one. Okay, so there's like oh, a Oh, those whole... big ones? Yeah. Do they have a tag on them? Yeah. It says, this plush provides endless relaxation for you at home and beyond with a removable two and a half pound weighted pouch. Let's be done with the gift shop. Okay. Let's go take a look at Landscape of Flavors. <laughs> Can you say it again? Landscape of Flavors. <laughs> <laughs> again, pretty standard food court uh, for the all-star resorts. The layout of this one's a little different. There's drink service over here on this side and actually all the way on the other side of the main area as well including another drink service island in the center, like you'll find at the other All-Stars. Apparently, the strawberry jalapeno margarita is the special right now. That sounds terrible to me, yeah, but no. you might like it. It's only $16.50. <laughs> they said uh, with no bias. <laughs> <laughs> Mobile ordering is a pretty handy way to go about it. There's a little QR code here that you can scan and tap, and it'll bring up the menu for the resort. You can place your mobile order and mobile order pickup is just right here on the corner. But let's take a spin through. There's a, a grab and go, spin. yes? A spin. A spin. There's a grab and go section over here that's got uh, a more conveniently sized bottle of wine that has a screw top. We bought a bottle of wine at the gift shop. There's actually a decent wine selection behind the counter at the gift shop. Um, but if you just want to sit down and share a glass of wine with your lovey, <laughs> you can grab a Sonoma Coast Pinot Noir, and you don't even need a wine key. <laughs> you just screw it off. I do not recommend Copa de Vino, uh, unless you really like headaches and terrible wine. <laughs> In which case, rock on. <laughs> Bottoms up. Uh, the mugs are a pretty good way to go. They're 20 bucks. Um, they give you unlimited drink refills, I think for two full weeks. And if you're going to be doing a lot of dining and more specifically imbibing, soft drinks, coffee, tea, it's all included in the price of the mug. It's chipped and they activate it when you buy it. And once the chip expires, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Disney's on to you, people who are bringing your own cups. <laughs> Got some fruit, Nutri-Grain bars, chips, cookies, whole selection More of pastries. Donuts. And there's a decent selection of beers and even champagne. Got some Trulies and some White Claws as well. <laughs> I like these... Um, I love the packaging on the cuties. Oh. Three at a time. Triplets. And if you've got a birthday, <gasps> you can pop in and oh my God. grab yourself a cake. You can have that cake even when it's not your birthday. You can. You can pretend. <laughs> if you're having an unbirthday. Um, oh, very, very unbirthday. Yeah, I'm, I messed it up. To me. To <laughs> you. Each resort has a specialty food item. 
I'm going to stop pretending like I know anything about food. <laughs> because I don't eat at the resorts. I have food allergies, and so I order my own food. We'll talk about that later when we go uh, through the room tour. I generally place um, Whole Foods orders through Amazon Prime, which is delivered to Bell Services. I pick it up, bring it to my room, and that's what I eat when I'm on vacation at a Disney resort. But I know that eating here is a big part of the experience for most people, so that's why we're walking through. But I'm not going to claim expertise. <laughs> Pizza, burgers, and then there's also tandoori chicken, seared salmon. You know, I don't know if you can get these everywhere or not. Maybe these are special to this resort. You tell me if you know. Leave me a comment. <laughs> you grab your food. You bring it up to check out here. This is nice, by the way. These are some allergen-free cookies. It's nice for folks like me. Unfortunately, I can't eat chocolate, so... But if you can, knock yourself out. <laughs> Tons of seating. Tons of available seating. We're not really in, like, the food rush hour time. It's, I guess... Midday? It's lunchtime. Yeah, I guess it is lunchtime. Everybody's out in the parks. I suppose so. Let's go outside. Okay. Oh, we chose like rush hour at this door. Thank you. So we're going to start out by going this away. We'll walk by the main pool, which is the big blue pool. <laughs> but we're not going to stop into the pool yet. We're going to catch that when we come back around. We're actually going to walk down to the first kind of arm of guest room buildings. And this is the drop-off bar. Did you hear that? Did somebody say that we were adorable? You. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, person. This is the drop-off. <laughs> Which is Are you the dropping only... the kids off at the pool? <laughs> the roast! Stop! <laughs> this is the only bar on property. It's full bar. So, if you want to do shots, mixed drinks. Shot, 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 the wine shot, selection shot. really isn't much there. They oh, got they the only have that. Copa de Vino. Mm -hmm. Which is a cup of wine in Latin. It's not. <laughs> this is the cars area. There's three pools on property. There's the main pool here. There's a pool in the cars area. And then there's another pool down on the other end uh, in the Little Mermaid area, which is where we're going to do the guest room tour at the end of this video. But the theming in the cars area is great. We're leaving art of animation theming and entering Radiator Springs. <laughs> Doc. This is cute. Hi, Doc. The road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've Mayor got used it. Monument Mayor Valley fainted. style theming on the buildings, which is nice. And then over on the left, you can see the Leaning Tower of Tires, and that's Guido and Luigi, Sally, Ramon, and the Cozy Cone, <laughs> which is uh, guest laundry. Oh my goodness, look at this. Uh... That is freaking adorable. It's those little extra touches that make the Disney Resorts a lot of fun to stay at. Mater's Junkyard, right over this way. Cool. 
So we'll walk through here good. and take a look at the pool. I feel like I'm on my way uh, out onto the field for the big game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh my God, look at their cones. Are they cones? They are cones, right? Yeah. Oh my God. So this is, the theming is that this is the Cozy Cone Motel, because at the Cozy Cone, each cone is a guest room, but here there are little pool cabanas, which is cute. We'll walk into the pool in just a sec. I just want to take a spin through guest laundry so you could take a look <laughs> what that looks spin. like. Oh, that's... Totally intentional. Ah, there we go. Uh, currently, the laundry facilities at the different resorts are switching over to a new system where you scan a QR code on the machine and use your smartphone to do everything. Until that happens, this is how the laundry machines work. Uh, enter a credit card, enter the number of the machine, pay for it, you can do multiples at once. Um, instructions here. If you didn't bring laundry soap or dryer sheets, I got a vending machine for you. <laughs> this facility is actually pretty small um, compared to some of the other ones. I like that they have this here so you can put your friends in it and do stunts. <laughs> All right, let's head back out to the pool. Mm. Lift knob and pull. <laughs> Uh, I do really appreciate that they have the life vests for the kiddos. I remember when my kiddo was life vest age. You don't want to be traveling with a life vest. And you certainly can't put your kiddo in the pool without a life vest if they can't swim, unless you're just a jerk parent. <laughs> Let's take a spin around, because the theming here is really great. In addition to the cozy cones, you've got Sarge's surplus hut. You've got the Wheelwell Motel, which is just the entrance to the building, to the guest room building. And you've got uh, Fillmore's, I forget what the name of his shop is called, but that's where you get like acid tabs and stuff. What? He's a, he's a hippie, he's stoned all the time. Oh my God, this is just absurdly cute. Oh, there's more cutie towels too. Folded up next to, oh no, that's Sally. So who did I see before? Here, um, I'm Oh, I'm gonna get to some comments, asking. I'll tell you that much. Little towel Sally, Towly. No, that's the character from South Park. <laughs> Anybody want a towel? <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. <laughs> There's another one over by the bus. Oh my gosh, they've got Fillmore towel too. This is so cute. I've never seen that before. That's really... Do you remember we saw one last night outside of the, the food area? It was a oh, mini, mini, right? Oh, a mini, yeah. Had a... With a bow. Mickey-shaped head, well, mini-shaped head, and uh, the bow, yeah. Organic fuel. Fillmore's organic fuel. So it's not acid, it's organic fuel. My bad. This resort is on the lake. If you were to take the Skyliner from this resort, you can take Skyliner, the Skyliner to, uh, I'm not even gonna try to guess because I can't remember <laughs> what the Skyliner route is. There's two lines, but the Skyliner actually just closed for a week for maintenance yesterday. It's January, I'm wearing a tank top <laughs> I'm happy about that. I live in St. Louis, Missouri, where it is not tank top weather in January. No, there's currently a winter storm warning. Yep. There. 
Nara is very sad that the Skyliner is closed. Me? Not so much. <laughs> I don't like heights very much or enclosed spaces. We're going to walk around uh, the perimeter of the resort next to the pretty lake here. Is this Hourglass Lake? Is that what this is? I think it is. I believe so. Or the Lake of Shining Waters. <laughs> Colloquially known as the Lake of Shining Waters. And what we'll do is we will go back to the center of the resort and walk up the middle through the big blue pool and then continue on to the other guest areas. Look at how cute these are. Yeah, the theming is really adorable. Whew. Like they don't skimp on the outsides of the buildings just because it's at the back of the resort. And the art of animation theming is consistent with the rest too. It's like uh, concept art, concept character sketches, <gasps> including. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's the, uh, I don't remember the character's Nemo? name. She says, oh, I you made me ink. <laughs> with Nemo. Across Hourglass Lake is uh, Pop Century Resort. Also very cool. Yeah, the theming at Pop Century is a lot of fun. You've got to find and have your picture taken with Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. <laughs> yes. Also the big wheel and the foosball. Yeah. The big wheel? Oh, the big wheel. The big wheel. Yeah. I thought you meant like the big wheel. No. And I was like, there's a like wheel? A big wheel tricycles, <laughs> plastic tricycles yeah. from the 80s. <laughs> did you have a big wheel? My brothers did. Oh. Ugh. You didn't get a big wheel? No, I, I was AFAM, so I didn't get a big wheel. Lame. I know, but I rode theirs. My sisters had strawberry shortcake big wheels. Yeah. I rode those. Strawberry shortcake smelled so good. Oh my goodness, these freaking drawings. That is really cute. Oh my god. If you know the name of this character, will you leave me a comment? I cannot remember. The octopus <laughs> from Finding, Finding Nemo. Nemo. Finding Nemo. So right here between Pop Century and Art of Animation, there's a bridge that goes across Hourglass Lake and that is the Skyliner Station. And I gotta admit, I have never taken the Skyliner. Do you think maybe one day we can go? Yeah, it's, it's gonna happen and I'll do it with you. <laughs> I will. Have a glass of wine first. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe take some anti-anxiety medication. <laughs> it does make me nervous. We can wear life vests, just in case. In case we go crashing into the water. They probably float, I bet. You think? And they're going over water. Disney would not have something that would, just in case, which has probably never happened and never will happen. But like, just in case, they wouldn't have something that would just like sink you to the bottom. I bet they float. Okay. Are you just, you're just saying, you're just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> no, considering the little bit that I know about Disney and how they put thought into every detail, there's no way they would just have it, something that would sink directly to the bottom. You know I'm right. You are generally right about such things. <gasps> no, I'm talking and I didn't see this. Yeah, this is a little uh, play area. So we're now into the Little Mermaid portion. I mean, the Finding Nemo, excuse me, portion of the resort. And the oh. theming here is outstanding. Look at the, the decorations in the windows on the third. And the colors. The Look colors are so vibrant. In their windows. Oh, so I love this about the guest rooms. This is an unofficial thing that guests will do is they'll decorate their windows. It was really cool in November when people were, they had Christmas lights in their windows. Yeah, yeah. 
I love I love that people do that. It just adds a little extra magic to the experience. <laughs> And I love the larger than life decorations like we've got Crush over here on the right and Mr. Ray over here on the left. I see you. <laughs> Splash pad for the littles. Oh, oh my goodness. Son of a knocker. Uh, I wish I was in the pool right now. Oh, oh my goodness. What's up, buddy? Hey. You so totally rock, dude. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Shell. <gasps> Oops. Wagon. So here's a fun thing that goes on at these resorts is that there's an MC that comes out. They'll do like trivia, music, games, dance parties, stuff <laughs> like that. It's really fun. Our final two of the first round are going to be Lilo and Stitch versus Mars. Oh, I'll have you know, like, even Queen is just... My goodness. Excuse me. <laughs> So to orient you, the drop-off bar is just right over here on the other side of the pool. And we're going to go back up toward Animation Hall and go right and visit the other half of the resort. Adorable. Look at this. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, Australia. It's the mask. <laughs> Oh, you see the sharks on the building over here? I never noticed that before. We got Bruce and the rest of the support group. Fish are friends, not food. Another secret towel. Secret towel art. I love it. <laughs> Animation hall is just right over here. We just came from the big blue pool, which is right over here. And now we're going to go right over here. And we're going to see the other half of the resort. So, how come on? <laughs> I do really like the colors here at Art of Animation. A lot of blues and pinks. But like the hues of them are retro. Yeah. It's very cute. Sung out. And the diamond pattern, very mid-century. Yes. The seagulls from Nemo. And if I'm not mistaken, every five minutes or so, they say, mine, <laughs> mine. <laughs> so Nemo theming extends from the big blue pool into this guest area here. And that same color palette is on Animation Hall as well. But as we continue this way, we go into Lion King territory. Woo! If you see Rafiki anywhere, <laughs> let me know. He invited us I to the him. Lion King area. I see him. Where? I see him. Just... Where? Right there. Oh, <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> I 
I feel like we're entering the Velt. Who? Shh, it's Mufasa. Yeah, but uh, Mufasa has a campfire every evening. Yeah, every evening from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Community campfire. With Mufasa. He's like, how can you? <laughs> I, isn't it? Yes. I was gonna say, I love how the the buildings are painted to be like the backdrop. Yeah, they like blend in to the flora. Yes. Oh, I love this. Ooh, not the crane thing. <laughs> <laughs> this Timon and Pumba and Simba. Is this when he just can't? No, no, no. Uh, I was going to say just can't wait to be king, but that's before this. This is after Scar. He's up there with the worst, most <laughs> evil villains of them all. I mean, yeah, think about what Scar even, does. He doesn't even deflect. He's just like, yeah, this is my intent. And I yeah, killed I killed him. <laughs> but he. He kills his brother. He blames a little kid and gaslights the kid into thinking that he killed his own father and then assumes power. I mean, that's some serious dirty business right yeah. there. Oh, should we go through the cave? Yeah. Okay. This is the elephant boneyard. Do you want me in front? So I'm not just on your butt. <laughs> okay. Oh God, I can't see anything except the floor. It would be better at nighttime. The ceiling is pretty low in here. As the ceiling in most elephant boneyards are. <laughs> Do you remember the names of the hyenas? No. I don't either. <laughs> if you do, leave me a comment. What are the names of the hyenas? I can't even name one. I can't name this dude. Uh. That's Scar right there. Why are so many villains in Ow. Disney? I mean, you did it. <laughs> Why are so many of the villains in Disney uh, queer coded? That's a good question. A lot of queer coding. Follow up question. Why are so many Disney villains represented by the color green? Scar has green eyes. Mm. Maleficent, green yeah. smoke. Ursula? Yeah, it does sound like that. It's purples. Yeah, it's true. Is there any... Wait, what color are her eyes, though? I don't know. Maybe green. We can take a look here in just a sec. Yeah. Moving into the Little Mermaid portion of the resort here. And this is where our guest room is. So after this, we'll do a full tour of that. Keep your eyes out for dingle hoppers and snarf flats. <laughs> Nara, what are your feelings on Prince Eric? Eh. The groomer. <laughs> yeah. Falls for a girl who can't even talk. That's a falls red flag, for? yeah. I mean, falls for. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, you I think can... he's just trying to get in her slacks? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Get some tail. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I see a dingle hopper, also known as a shrimp fork. <laughs> Woo! Load it up, smoke a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure chest. I'm rich. I'm rich, I tells you. 
Do you think there's a hidden Mickey in here somewhere? I don't know. Whenever I see circular shapes, I think to myself, there's got to be a hidden Mickey in here somewhere. I don't see one, though. Ursula has black eyes, according to this gigantic statue. I know in the movie there's like a close-up of her eyes at some point. And what are the eels' names? Flotsam and Flotsam Jetsam. Flotsam and Jetsam. King Triton over here. He has kind of a weird facial expression. He seems confused. <laughs> like he was frozen mid-sentence. He's been doing his ab routine though, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and you can see his back from the third floor? Yeah, very prominent shoulder blades. <laughs> Very prominent pectoral muscles as well. This is the third pool on property. So let's go take a look. And while we're doing that, you can also take a look at Flounder and Ariel. I'm going to take a little, 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 yes. Oh, look, it's Sebastian. <gasps> What's up? Man, he is Bro? energetic. He's very happy. He looks to be demonstrating that it's better down where it's wetter under the sea. <laughs> and there's our girl. Yeah. All the way at the other end. The older I get, the more I side with King Triton. <laughs> Ariel was making some bad choices. Did you actually purchase something? Bottle water. You know, I forgot to point it out, but I'm, of course, dressed as many. And Nara is dressed as Mickey. I'm gonna do this. Uh, the classic Mickey pose. <laughs> oh boy! There's another guest laundry facility over here, as well as restrooms. Have you read the towel issue? <laughs> Shocking revelations. <laughs> well, Nara, that's most of the resort. The only thing left for us to do is a full tour of the guest room. Cool Shall beans. we head up? Yes. And take a look? Yes! What do you think? Um, I, I said yes. No first. or yes? Um, yes again? I said yes thrice now. To the room! <laughs> Here we are at the guest room. That was so fast. Come on. Follow me. So this is a standard guest room. This is a Little Mermaid guest room. And it is modest um, compared to some of the other renovated rooms at not only this resort, but other resorts too. There's not a lot of space in here. The theming is cute, but it reminds me of a pediatrician's office. <laughs> but there are some modern touches. Two beds, one for sleeping, one for jumping. <laughs> Table, chairs, where you can eat your breakfast, drink your coffee, read your sheet music. Some of the modern touches, uh, I do appreciate that they have USB ports and a lot of outlets, but some of the newer renovated rooms at other resorts have USB-C ports, 
which is nice because the USB-A ports, they don't really support most of the modern devices. They won't charge your devices very fast. Usually there's a coffee maker here. Uh, I shoved it underneath the bedside table here because I don't really use it. Um, one nice thing about this resort though is that the TVs have the updated um, software package or I don't know what to call it, but you can stream from your device to the TVs, which is really nice, you know, cause you can like watch Disney movies and stuff while you're in your room, which I've always thought it was like kind of crazy that they don't have Disney plus available in the rooms. It's like, what a great opportunity for them to be previewing Disney plus for guests who might want to purchase Disney plus anyway. That's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, here in this drawer, we got some food stashed away. Like I mentioned, uh, I have food allergies and so I don't partake of the food here at the resort or on property really. What I do is I order Whole Foods through Amazon Prime and they will deliver directly to the Bell Services and you can go pick it up or you can call Bell Services and have them delivered. Um, but they're very accommodating. They'll keep frozen items frozen, refrigerated items refrigerated. Uh, they'll just ask you your name and they'll go grab it for you. And hopefully you give them a little tip. That's the nice thing to do. There's also a fridge. And this is an actual mini fridge, as opposed to some of the other resorts that have drink coolers, which don't get quite as cold as a standard fridge. So you can rest assured knowing that your meats and more perishable items will stay at a safer temperature. But you know what they don't have? They don't have a microwave. In fact, I don't think any of the resorts have a microwave. Isn't that weird? Weird. I just feel like microwaves are really standard hotel room items nowadays. On one hand, I get it. They want you to go eat their food. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, it's really inconvenient, especially for a person like me Mm -hmm. who travels with their own food. Do you think you could request one? You can, Maybe. and I have. And each time I request them, they say, oh yeah, we'll see what we can do. I've never gotten one. <laughs> Uh-oh. Follow me into the bathroom. Now, have you noticed that anything is missing? We've now seen the entire hotel room. There's no closet. You can't hang up your clothes. There's no hangers. There's nowhere to hang them, even if you had them. So I can't say whether this is a standard feature of rooms here, but there's not one in our room and it is sorely missed, mm -hmm. I will tell you. But you know what they do have? A freaking ironing board and an iron, but no closet, no hangers. <laughs> you have to immediately put them on. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Theming is cute. I do appreciate the, uh, the Little Mermaid shower curtain. And, and you don't have to roll with your own soap, shampoo, or conditioner. They do provide that, which is nice. And you get to be surrounded by all of Ariel's, the, her collection of things. Yeah, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Makeup mirror. They do provide a toilet, which is nice. I appreciate that. It's very loud. It is very loud. <laughs> uh, and I will say that this room, if you take a peek at the bottom of the door here, or if you take a peek at this outlet over here, this room is definitely showing some wear and tear. It is, it's getting old and it's not being maintained very well. I am not thrilled with this room. I have definitely stayed in nicer rooms, even at this resort, but there are unquestionably nicer rooms, even at less expensive resorts. Just so you know what you're getting into. Thank you so much for joining us on this full walking tour of Disney's Art of Animation Resort at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. If you liked this video and you 10 out of 10 recommend it, um, it'd be really cool if you would uh, strike that, that like. like. 
Um, and thanks to Drew and Lori for letting me tag along on this video. Thanks again for watching, and as always, Black Lives Matter.